Hi, we're the Boomer Shines, and we have a dream of doing the Great American Loop with ourselves, our kiddos, Hi. <laughs> and our two cats, only one of whom is cooperating right now. But first, we, we gotta, gotta find, find a, a boat. boat. Welcome to episode 23 of V B Virtual <laughs> boat shopping. So the Great American Loop is a way to circumnavigate the eastern seaboard of the United States going around using rivers, intercoastal waterways, and lakes. There's no, a map. Ponds. Here you go. Anyway, and we hope to throw our lines in spring of 2022. And right now, as you know, we are searching for a boat. We're going pretty random here. A 2003 McKenna 58 foot. Okay, I like the length. Yes, length is good. And uh, I did a little research on McKenna and seems to be a good builder. So let's check out the specs. 2003 McKenna, 58 feet in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, $520,000. I call these the Stormtrooper boats. I don't know why they look like a Stormtrooper No, to you me. know, they don't look like a Stormtrooper. They look like one of like the, the, the Star Wars spaceships. Maybe that's what it is. Star Destroyers. Anyway, very sleek, pointy. Triangular. Not very shippy, but I still kind of like it. But kind of shippy. Yeah. Okay. Modern shippy. In order to do the loop, you cannot be any taller than 19 feet 6 inches above the water line in order to get under the lowest fixed bridge outside of Chicago. And those radar. Arch yeah, but it's on balls. a pole. I mean, that looks pretty easily. Let's but see if the, we get pictures. What, okay, what, what are the. Mm. Sat track? The, yeah, that. <laughs> what are the giant balls? Track on, vision? On top of the boat. Um, it's a ball because there's a dish, a satellite dish inside, and it moves around. And how do you move something inside? How do you, it's okay, inside. but can, those, can we? I think they can be, yes, easily removed. Okay, it looks tall. That's, okay, but, but the bimini looks... They're pretty straightforward, bolt on, bolt off. Okay. Disconnect some wires. That's what I Let's look at some know. specs. She's called La Linda Vida. Oh. Length uh -huh. overall of 58 feet, beam 17 foot 3, whoa, dance. Ooh, maximum draft. Oh, I love a beamy boat. Wait, maximum was... draft three foot ten inches. Oh, I love this. <laughs> By the way, the La, La Linda, I'm Lucinda. I just, mm. I'm just saying. Ta a little ta foreshadowing. Three foot ten inches letters. either means, I mean, she's just kind of floating like a lily pad on the water, which to me means. What's she gonna do in the uh, ocean? Uh, so, okay, just have stabilizers. if you know anything about a McKenna and how they handle the swells that we're going to get into in the Great Lakes, let us know. Caterpillars, love, love it. That. Uh, low engine hours at 1500. Max speed, 23 miles per hour. Much better than the 12 miles Fuel per hour. Fuel tanks, 1,000 gallons. Okay. Fresh water, 270. Not bad. So let's look. Okay. Specs look good. I have not seen this book. Specs look too good. The 3 foot 10 concerns me. This is all brand new to me. Okay. I gotta figure out the walk around situation for the kiddos. Um, swim platform looks nice with these uh -huh. staples. I like that. This is nice for sunshade okay. and painting. So Mark is a fine artist and he will be painting while we are doing the loop. So he needs a good spot to paint and we think that that aft area will be his yeah, aft area floating is key. studio. Because <laughs> I don't need to be painting in the salon. Obviously I could, but I'd rather be outside. And shade is key too, because if the sun beats down on what I'm painting with my acrylic paint, it's going to dry instantly. Now she looks a little stubbier here, right? She doesn't look well, as... It's that, it's that downward angle. Yeah, but this is great right here. I love that. Kids would love that. And Let's this... I love it. Can't I'm not a fan here. of these angled doors, but... Okay. Stainless steel is nice. I bet you they're heavy and they go clunk clunk. Oh, good space. All right, now it went from, this looked a lot more spacious than that to that, right? Didn't that shrink a little? Yeah, and we haven't gotten a There's not gonna on. be a table there, but that's nice. But I like all Love that this. space. We've got good this. spot on the floor you for got kids yoga. to play. I can do some yoga, mm -hmm. okay. I like the helm seat. Tiny little steering wheel. <laughs> Tiny galley. You know, I feel like we've looked at something similar to that and I thought it was like a built-in Sub-Zero fridge, but you open that door to get to another door, so let's... Probably the same thing. But I, I, Which I didn't like, but if that's like a, you know... No, that's a fridge. Nice! That's a Sub-Zero. Okay. Is it a Sub? Yep. Right there. 
Mama's happy. That's a good size fridge for a boat. It's like a skinny. So sub. yeah, that's a wooden panel. Oh, it's, on got, a sub -zero. oh, it's got drawers on the bottom. That's nice. I guess it's it's a petite kitchen, but it's I don't think you're gonna have an oven or a dishwasher. Liquor cabinet. But I do have a liquor cabinet. Those are good stairs. Stairs. Going up to the... Dinette. Oh, I like that. Usually they're in a U, but I like that better. It's more functional. But that's four people and someone well, on the end. We'd need a some sort of chair at the end. Captain's chair. Mm -hmm. Director's chair. A foldable director's chair. We. <laughs> Total aside, they're filming a movie at our house right now. So that is probably why that is top of mind. Yes. You can follow us on Instagram at the Boomer Shines to learn more of that chaos <laughs> that is going on around us as we speak. Okay, um, back to, back back to, to our boat, boat shopping. shopping. Um, the color of the wood is I don't decent. Mind, I don't mind light wood. I actually prefer light wood to dark wood. A lot of swoopy curves to avoid the boat bites. Oh, that's pretty. But is that the VIP or the master? I have no idea. Okay. Whoa. I'm betting it's the master. That's the master with on a, an angle. With a big walk into the head. That's nice. Pretty woodwork. Mm-hmm. I just don't like it. So joinery cool. is the term. Joinery. For like my preferred joinery would be a little like darker. A little darker, Less not glossy. as shiny. I don't know what that is. That like was a shower. That's a really nice. That feels like a residential. Yeah, with this. And I'm like vanity right here. Yeah. That's nice. Windows. Oh. oh! It looks like a full length closet. I can't quite tell, but I'm guessing it is. Cedar lined. No moths on our boat. I don't know. That's looking from the no, helm down. down to the VIP. So that's the VIP. Okay, so the, the master is kind of on an angle. That's a nice VIP, nice bath. Are there two kids? No, bunks? but here's what we do. You put the na you the, put the tutor, tutor in, in here, here and, then and the kids we, we would make a double. That one looks easily I done. I found to a, a, a great picture of that where you we take that bed out and we would build two twins on either side that are split, but you could also, if you got fancy, you could put them together to make a queen. But this still may be two beds. There's might be one up there. Nope. And then I've seen this occasionally. That's a legit washer. Or is that a dryer? That down there. That is like some European dryer, but at least it's separate. Like it's got a dedicated. I've seen, we've seen that before, but I have no idea what it is. I don't like stabilizers. I pro, whoa. Stabilizers. I like stabilizers. So it's three foot ten with stabilizers. And these okay. are uh, these are not. What kind of stabilizers are they? I think they're gyro gale, which. Is that like Seakeeper? No, gyro gale is a different make. Must tender? come with the tender. Which is not, not the nicest on the of boat. tenders. It didn't even show the fly bridge. Huh. Hmm. How, how are we expected to spend $520,000 on a boat that we've looked at without pictures of that? Listing agents, please Once again, sell I'm yourself. I'm available for hire <laughs> as a console to go through your listing photos. Sometimes that's why boats, boats don't sell. You it's don't give not, it the opportunity not to rocket sell. Science. Okay, so from what I've seen, which is not enough, I, I mean, I think this is a definite this contender. Is, yeah. I mean, it, would I, if I were to like commission a yacht with money, no object, would, would it, it look, look like, like that? No. no. But if it's there. But the space looks great. Um, it's got everything <clears> we need. The I, specs I, are fantastic. Shallow, assuming all this comes down, that's a really low air height. 58 feet is just barely, I think, what we can get insured. 17 feet something beam, three foot 10 draft, thousand gallons old. fuel. Put it on the yes list. Put it on the yes list. Yeah. <laughs> Let me try that again. Folding. Put it on the yes list. What's that, what what was that of, from? Okay, so the 2003 McKenna 58 is on the yes list. I'd like to get on it and check it out. If anybody knows about McKenna's, please let us know what you think. Yes, and thank or, you so much for all the comments and the feedback. You guys are awesome. And it's so fun to see where you're all from and, and you know, get ready to go on this adventure together. Yeah. Okay, anything else? Nope. Shine on. Shine on. Thanks for watching.